Strap in folks, the 2022 US housing crash has already started, you just don't know it yet, and Jerome Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, is to blame. We are seeing a catastrophic collapse in home buyer demand across America right now based on two key forward-looking metrics that predict what the housing market is gonna look like in two to three months. Both of these metrics, which I'm gonna to reveal to you in this video, are saying that the spring 2022 housing market is gonna be an absolute ghost town. We're gonna to see inventory explode and prices collapse. Specifically in the cities in red on this map, there's going to be a catastrophic drop-off in housing demand over the next two months based on these forward-looking indicators in the areas in red. And so what's really causing the problem in the housing housing market in America right now is rising mortgage rates and not only rising mortgage rates it's surging mortgage rates. According to Mortgage News Daily, the 30-year fixed rate is now up to 4.2%. 4.2% when it was only 3.2% two months ago. That might not sound to you like a massive increase, but it is a massive increase, and it's why pending home sales across America just collapsed by 6% month over month through February. So higher mortgage rates are basically pushing buyers out of the market. They already couldn't afford the prices. They already couldn't afford the mortgage payments. And now when you jack that 30 year fixed mortgage rate up to 4.2%, it means they can't buy homes. They can't afford homes. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at what the National Association of Realtors has to say about it in an article that just came out today. The pending home sale index, a forward looking indicator of home sales based on contract signings fell 5.7% in January and year over year decreased by nearly 10%. Lawrence Yoon, the chief economist of the National Association of Realtors said, Given the situation in the market, mortgages, home costs, and inventory, it would not be surprising to see a retreat in housing demand. So here we have the head economist for the National Association of Realtors acknowledging that we're gonna see a retreat in housing demand over the next couple months. Now, he's not allowed to say that there's going to be a crash because after all, he works for the National Association of Realtors, but just the fact that their head economist is acknowledging that the housing market has gotten too expensive and that we're gonna see a decline in home buyer demand is a big deal. And as I said earlier, the collapse in demand is gonna be hardest in the areas in red on this map, in deep red in particular. You can see a place like Austin, Texas sticks out. And what this is measuring is the percentage change in the cost of home ownership year over year. So one year ago, your annual cost of ownership in Austin between mortgage payments and property taxes were 25,000. Today, they're 39,000. They've gone up by 60% in just one year. In Phoenix, Arizona, it's a similar situation. The cost of ownership has gone up by 46%. Las Vegas, Nevada, it's a 44% increase. Salt Lake City, it's a 42% increase. And in Boise, Idaho, it's a 44% increase. And so let me just explain to you what that means in practical terms. It means in places like Austin and Boise and Phoenix and Las Vegas, if you were a home buyer one year ago, you were paying 40 to 60% less in terms of your annual mortgage payments and your property taxes. But now that values have gone up so much and mortgage rates have gone up so much and the underlying tax assessments are going up, a home buyer today in these cities is paying 40 to 60% more on an ongoing basis. Clearly that is not sustainable. You can't increase the cost of home ownership for new buyers by 50% in one year and expect that housing market to sustain itself. I mean, just think about it. Everyone, if you've been someone in Austin or Boise or Phoenix for the last year, has your income gone up by 50%? Of course not. It's more likely that your income has gone up by 5% or 3% or 7% and that the cost for you to own a home has gone up by five to 10 times more than that. And this is the dirty secret of the 2022 housing market that realtors don't want you to know, real estate investors don't want you to know. They just want you to focus purely on the fact that there's cash buyers in the market and investors are buying homes. Homes. But in the long run, those cash buyers and investors are not what fundamentally determines housing demand. It's the regular American who needs to get a mortgage to buy a house. Still over 75% of all home purchases are financed with a mortgage. So if the mortgage costs are up by a ridiculous
ridiculous amount year over year that's going to tank home buyer demand and crash the housing market. In addition, we're also seeing a major collapse in another forward-looking indicator, which is called mortgage purchase applications. Data tracked by the Mortgage Bankers Association basically evaluates the amount of people applying for pre-approval on loans and mortgages so they could purchase a house. We can see that there's been an over 20% collapse in mortgage purchase applications in just the last three weeks. So this aligns very well with seeing a big decline in pending home sales. Why are we seeing a decline in pending home sales? Well, people aren't applying for mortgages to buy homes. And this is just the start, everyone. The 30-year fixed mortgage rate is up to 4.2%, and the Fed hasn't even increased interest rates yet. We haven't even seen an official interest rate increase. That's officially gonna come in the middle of March, and they're projecting, different banks are projecting up to seven rate hikes in 2022 to go along with quantitative tightening. I don't know if you all know what quantitative tightening is, but let me tell you right now, it's the reverse of money printing. The Fed is gonna basically stop money printing in the next one to two weeks, and then they're gonna start taking money out of the system, and that's what quantitative tightening is. So between higher interest rates and quantitative tightening, we're going to see basically a reverse of everything we saw during the pandemic in terms of accommodative monetary policy, and that's going to lead to even bigger surges in interest in mortgage rates, which are going to completely down the U.S. housing market, but specifically these markets in red, which have already seen such a big increase in the cost of home ownership that if we increase rates and mortgage rates any further, which we will, uh, these markets are done. They're toast, and the spring 2022 housing markets in these cities is going to be an absolute ghost town. There are going to be no buyers. Put it down right now. Reference this video in two to three months. Austin, Texas, Boise, Phoenix, Vegas, those markets are going to be a sinking ship by the time the spring comes. You heard it here first. Now, I want to hear your thoughts about all of this, everyone. What are your thoughts on this data, on the big decline in mortgage applications and home sales, on how expensive the housing market's getting for people uh, in the Sun Belt? I want to hear what you think. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure to hit the like button on this video. That's the best way to support this channel. Uh, also, make sure you're a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button. I got three of these data-driven videos for you coming out per week. You're not going to want to miss this contact going forward now that we're seeing such crazy movement in the U.S. housing market and we're seeing a crash that has already started. All right, everyone, until next time, this is Nick from ReVenture Consulting signing off.